What's up YouTube? Today we have a fun video for you. We hired a new writer who's never written a single blog post in his life. Uh, he's kind of an old family friend. I haven't seen him in more than five years. Um, and he's going to come in here and write an article for a brand new niche site that we're starting. And we're going to put him up. We're going to have another writer write the same article as kind of a competition. The other writer is Ricky. <laughs> hey, Tanner, welcome. Come on in. All right, you guys. So this is it. The pro blogger, Ricky versus Tanner, the brand new, never even written a blog post uh, <laughs> blogger. So I've selected your topic here. It is, is Traeger worth the cost on our search analysis? So somebody's buying a brand new Traeger pellet grill and they're wondering if it's worth paying the cost for a Traeger. So we're starting the clock, three hours. On your mark, get set, go. All right, you finished writing your article. I did. We're now back the next day to yeah, take a I, look at this. I needed, I needed to rest overnight. You can before. try writing an article. <laughs> you really do when you put that much into it. Okay, so we're ready for the reveal yes. of the new blogger. Um, let's take a look at the article. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay, it's fairly standard. Um, I think this is what we would usually see. I mean, just quick look. The first sentence is just fluff. And the interesting thing is most bloggers, they aren't going to change the meta description. In the, so what's showing in search is going to be that, that first, sentence. first sentence usually Oftentimes, in that blog yeah. post. And so it's just a wasted, wasted opportunity here to win on SEO because of some sentence about where he lived in Georgia. Right. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And as I look on, it, it's not just the first sentence. As I scroll through here, it's really like the whole first section. Everything above the fold, I don't, I don't get any meat. That's, right, that's true. We're down to... Like halfway through the blog post before at least I'm seeing real content, a real yeah. answer to my question. And even that is presented almost without much context. Mm -hmm. I'm given like, okay, here's two pellet smokers that are similarly priced and here's what they have. Yeah. It's like, okay, uh, that's, it's interesting and it illustrates and I'm glad that he went and pulled some data, mm -hmm. but um, I'm not given any analysis. Overall... To me, the reason this blog post will never, ever, ever, ever rank. In fact, I invite you, please <laughs> copy this article and put it on your website. Just steal this because it will never, <laughs> ever rank on Google for yeah. this term. Yeah, throw as many backlinks as you want at it and it's just not going to It's work. not going to work. And the reason is it doesn't answer the question. It just right. really doesn't. I mean, I see he mentions the reviews and it's like, okay, I could have seen that on Amazon. Right. Right? Yeah. There's only really like two criteria. He's mm -hmm. like, the amount of cooking space that you get on the smoker for the price and what, how good the reviews are. And that's, that's it. It's easy to see this and just say, well, yeah, you should have talked about different aspects of it. But when a new blogger goes and writes blog posts, that's the mistake we see all the time is yeah. that, you know, the question will be, is a Cavalier King Charles a good house dog, right? And they'll be like, well, ah, they're easy to find from reputable breeders and they don't bark much and they're not aggressive. And a blog post. And then they start writing paragraphs on like the history of the Cavalier, we saw the Cavalier this, King Charles. We saw this when we went and helped Carl with his website, his fish keeping mm -hmm. website. There was a whole bunch of like, of uh, you know specific fish breeds and species and stuff and he's giving like this in-depth background of the species and the history and where they come from and where they exist in nature and da da da, da. and it's like 98 percent of this yeah. is not and that was hard for there him are other to... very important parts of the post that exactly. are getting missed they just can't think of what a complete answer to that question would be Absolutely. he's really only talking about two different aspects of it right. so to me that's the reason this is never gonna rank and it and it won't um, and so, anyway, it'll be interesting to see for you to give your reaction to see how this compares. But there are just numerous things. The time to first tip, mm -hmm. there there really wasn't a tip, right? There really wasn't a good piece of meat until almost the end of the article. Um, use of interesting formatting. Use, I mean, just numerous things that that we've been talking about that that weren't there. And I want to highlight. I have read 
dozens, hundreds of blog posts exactly like this. Oh yeah. I've done site reviews where this is what you see when it's a new blogger. Mm -hmm. And so, and we didn't give him any training. Tanner came in the door and we said, first day of work, write a blog post. And right. he did. And this is what you see most every time. And it will never rank. Now we've looked, you of course looked, but I also yep. looked at your blog post. And so we've kind of gone in depth uh, looking at what makes this post work. Uh -huh. So here it is, this is your ladder to the stars right here, <laughs> is you just have to figure out how to go from that brand new blogger, and he did a great job, it's what yeah. anybody would produce, to what a professional blogger can produce that will rank on SEO. That's right. First one that I noticed is formatting. Um, I came in about halfway through and just said, how you doing? And um, you had almost all the words done, like to make it just to have it a long enough post, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you spent really two hours just formatting the post, yeah. just getting it scannable. I mean, we look through your post, you have images in the post, subheadings, you have an ordered, several ordered lists, you have multiple tables of data, you have photos, custom photos, you have a quote call out, you have a video embedded, and bolding throughout the post. Like it is just this visual experience which makes it more scannable. It allows the person to learn more and it's just fun to read. And I'll say it does not take two hours to go put some bolding into a blog post. But in order to create those tables and things, I had to pull a lot of data, a lot of information from a whole bunch of different websites to be able to package it in a way that it would be easy to illustrate what I was trying to say. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about, you know, you get more um, you get more cooking area for the dollar with these other brands rather than just saying that that's generally true or showing two examples side by side i went and looked at all of the traeger models mm -hmm. and took their cooking space divided by the price and mm -hmm. it was it cost this many dollars per square inch to cook on a traeger versus the other brands that's that took real time. research exactly you're not just spitting it out and think about it as a teacher so like the cosmic connectome, like you're trying to get different ways in people's exactly. brains for them to get to the information so they can actually learn it, right? And by providing these lots of different information, they can actually learn from what you're, what they're trying, what they came for, <laughs> right? Exactly. And so, and it, I, okay, so I want to talk about another thing that I think really helped me that Tanner was. When you have a good idea, I'm going to turn this on. Okay. That'd be awesome. Another, so this was another one where um, I, I think I had a huge advantage over Tanner. In the intro, you saw that Tanner had virtually no experience with pellet grills. Mm -hmm. Hardly knew what he was talking about. This is another thing you see with beginner bloggers all the time. You pick a topic based on something that you think is going to do well. Whereas, um, you know, I... we picked this topic as something to write about because it's something we were interested in. Now, six months ago, I didn't know much about pellet grills, but I have been immersing myself in the topic because it's something I wanted to learn more about and something I wanted to write about. And I, I know it seems crazy that Jim and I have like in-depth knowledge of so many topics. Sometimes I feel like the man of a trillion worlds, but the, re <laughs> sorry, the reality is that like we immerse ourselves in the topics that we're going to write about. And so for me to sit down, I already knew all the answers, everything I wanted to say. It, then it was just a matter of putting it together in a useful way. Yeah, and that is important. I mean, a new blogger, it's just kind of word vomit. It's just, <laughs> here are words about the topic you yeah. asked about, instead of like really teaching the person who came to get that information. Exactly. Um, answer targets was huge. Sure. One of the reasons that, that your blog post, and, and not this one specifically, but just how we write blog posts will be so successful is because of those answer targets. So you've seen, and we've in our recent study, we found 74% of Google searches have a snippet, right? And we did a video about the answer snippets, the one yep. where you fell through the deck. <laughs> through the deck, it's um, awesome. If you haven't seen that video, if you could only watch one SEO video in all of 2020, it's that one. That's going to give you the results. So go back to our, just Google, uh, you know, snippet optimization. Just write it in, in YouTube that or you'll see our video. That video is literally magic without lies. Okay? Yes. <laughs> it is just packed with what you need to do to succeed with SEO in 2020. And that's what we're trying to do. That's why we're focused so much on the tables and the bolding yes. and the compact writing is so the whole thing is just 
feeding Google's algorithm with information that they exactly. can rank. So answer targets in there is a huge thing. Real life experience, presenting the information in an interesting way and just using the real estate. But to me, the big one is just providing a full yes. and complete answer to the question. That's exactly what I was just uh, wanting to say as well. And that is, we talked about you know Tanner's article. He only really kind of gave two reasons um, for his answer. And I went through and just gave all of the reasons, right? Mm -hmm. I really did come up with kind of a collectively exhaustive list of reasons for why, you know, you might consider a Traeger versus others that are differently priced, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what you're needing to look for with the complete answer is like, let's look for all the different angles that just exhaust the topic, that mm -hmm. complete the topic. And that's what most bloggers are gonna miss out on in the early days. What we're doing is not magic. Everyone can learn to write yeah. this stuff. We have thousands of people in Project 24 who are seeing results because they've learned this stuff. It's not that hard, but I hope in this video it was really clear that if you just start a blog and start typing, you are gonna have multiple frustrating years. Very few people will write in a way that will work for Google. And that's what this is all about. So go watch our video on snippet optimization. It's gonna make your blog post better.